All right, cool. So we just covered the downhill trucks. Now we're going to do carving trucks. Uh, the carving truck is pretty much dominated by Paris's and Randall's. Um, a little side scene of some bears and even some of the more unique revenge truck. Um, so the standard is Randall's. This has a 50 degree pivot cup. Um, it's going to be flipped. It's going to be at 47. Unflipped, it's going to be at 53. Uh, it's got a pretty standard bushing seat, which is friendly to almost all bushings on the market. And it's a generally quite a good truck. Um, to give them a little competition is the Paris truck. The Paris is gravity cast, which as I covered with the Crails, it allows for less bubbles in the mold. Uh, the only downside of the Paris is it's made in China, if that is important to you. Um, the Paris truck has a really deep sunken bushing seat, which is great because it fits Venoms really, really nicely and gets the full rebound out of the bushing. Um, Paris's are also a 180 degree hanger, similar to Randall's. Hanger width is another important factor of carving trucks. You, uh, oftentimes companies come out with a different size hanger, uh, like Paris. Here's the Paris 150 which measures the distance from here to here, which is 150 millimeters, and the distance from here to here, which is 180 millimeters in the 180. What this does is a narrower hanger allows for more leverage on the truck, which makes it so it'll have an easier carve and be slightly more responsive. Um, the Bear Grizzly, which is also has a downhill version, and this is the carving one, is a 52 degree plate. Unflipped, it's 57. Flipped, it is 47. Um, the Grizzly has characteristics of generally having more lean. The only fault with Grizzlies is that people generally do not appreciate the pumpkin bushings for carving as they tend to be a little bit more dead and um, a little more restrictive. But we'll have another tutorial on how you can liven up your uh, pumpkins. So the Grizzly has a lot more lean. It has the highest angle at 57. Uh, another nice thing about the Grizzly is that it can buy, you can buy 10 millimeter axles. And so this has a thicker axle than this one, which will provide more strength and will reduce your chances of bending. Um, on a totally separate note, there is the revenge truck. This is what's called a torsion truck. As you can see, it is pivot cup free. The kingpin runs through the pivot, which is actually just a rubber pivot there, which twists and resists by this motion compared to rotational uh, resistance. So the advantage of revenge is it is very, very responsive in your turns. I believe the hanger is 174. Um, it's really, really responsive, it carves really steeply, and is a generally quite a well-made truck. And another perk is it's made out of recycled aluminum for you people who like polar bears. Um, and that pretty much sums up the carving trucks. All right, so we just covered the carving truck. Now we're gonna do vertical kingpin trucks. A vertical kingpin truck is defined with, well, the kingpin being vertical, who'd have thunk. Um, you can see here that the kingpin in this is pointing straight up in the air. The hanger is on the opposite side of the kingpin, whereas a regular uh, inverted kingpin truck has it going through the hanger. So what this does is generally it rises the height on the or the angle of the pivot cup, making it usually you know around 90-ish or well give or take 20 degrees. Um, it puts the bushing seat there, which gives it a different kind of resistance. Uh, the ones we're going to cover today are going to be the Bennett, the Tracker RTS, and the Independent. Um, so starting off with the Bennett, classic truck, been around for over 30 years, um, has a very, very surfy feel. Uh, you can see here that it has a much higher ride height than everything else, which gives you a lot of leverage on the truck and gives it that diving sort of uh, resistance to it. Uh, the Tracker RTS is different in the sense that it's a lot lower. It also has a abrupt change in the angle of the pivot cup into there, which makes it a little bit more stable. It's a very, very common rear truck for slalom and uh, rear truck for long distance pumping. It's also nice because it has an hourglass shape in the back, which gives it a really clean resistance. Um, I find with hourglass bushings, it has a really good return to center. Uh, when it's centered and when it starts to give, it really starts to give. It has a little bit more of a dive to it than most bushings. Um, the independent truck is this one, I believe, is a 169. Um, this is the independent, also classic, very, very important in the history of skateboarding, to be honest. Um, has great carvability, comes with a double cone shaped bushing, uh, kind of the predecessor to the racetrack, the tracker. Uh, very, very solid truck, useful for sliding boards. Uh, the width is very friendly, compatible with things like the 
Earthwing Corchia. Um, it's a very, very useful truck for most things. So the Bennett's also come in three different sizes. Right here we've got a Bennett 4.3 and a Bennett 6.0. They also make a 5.0, which is in between these. And as I discussed in the last video, this is regarding leverage on the truck. A narrower truck is gonna have more leverage and will have easier give and less resistance when you're turning. A wider truck will be slightly more stable, even though stability is not the goal of a Bennett, um, and will give you a little bit more, I don't know, I wanna say stability, less chance of lifting, um, when you're turning a truck really hard and your board happens to be wider than your hanger, you're going to get a lot of wheels lifting up, which will reduce your traction. Uh, when it comes to vertical kingpin, kingpin trucks, it's also very common to mix them in the genre of long distance pumping. The most common pumping setup to date is going to be the Bennett 4.3 and a tracker. This one is a 129. A 109 is also very common. This is nice because a Bennett has the diving feel. The diving feel is really important because it turns a lot and the RTS has more resistance and does not turn as much. So this really propels you forward in the genre of LDP. And that sums up vertical convention trucks.